Good morning. Three words that many physicians in particular are not very well accustomed to using are, I don't know. Certainly this pertains to many other professions and we've all dealt with other professionals, whether they be a contractor at our house, an attorney, an accountant, etc. And sometimes they just won't admit that they don't know and they'll put something forth uh, hoping that you're satisfied with their answer or their approach. However, in medicine, uh, especially nowadays with the information available on the internet and with the empowered and engaged consumer and patient pop, pop population, this is becoming uh, a very important phrase for a physician to not only incorporate into um, their daily conversations, but to the message that they uh, give to some patients. Uh, any busy physician has seen patients in their office and after appropriate uh, workup and listening to the patient, talking to the patient and examining the patient will not know what's going on. Some might simply tell the patient uh, what they think is going on. Some might make it up. Uh, I don't know. I'm not actually in the, those physicians' offices. I think it's important to be able to say, I don't know. Um, and then, uh, perhaps even more important, it's what you do at that moment. Do you refer the patient to someone else? Do you turn to the computer with them? and query their symptoms uh, and signs and see if there's any new literature? Do you give the patient some homework to do uh, and let them know that, look, it's a little busy in the office today. Why don't we both look this up uh, on the computer tonight? Uh, we both come out with our own uh, little assessment of what we found online and let's meet together again in uh, a day or two or a week later and go over what we've learned together. Uh, that way you both can grow. There is so much information out there. It is impossible for a physician, even an ultra subspecialist, to know about every little detail in the medical literature within their chosen field. It's impossible. That may not be the standard that physicians are held to in certain realms, and I will not get into that, However, it is, the, it is the truth. There's no way that we can know uh, what last up to the minute information has been published in certain venues uh, as it deals with our specialty or subspecialty. I frequently welcome patients uh, uh, on a daily basis who bring information uh, that they um, obtain from the internet and we sit and we go over it and we see if it's pertinent and if it is I incorporate it into uh, my knowledge base and I utilize it from there going forward. Uh, so when you are faced with a difficult diagnosis uh, and you're not sure you're getting correct information, <clears throat> you may not be. Um, try and see if your physician is willing to work with you, uh, willing to take some of the information that you're giving them or is offering you uh, new places to look for information. And uh, if you hear, I don't know from a physician, that is a credible physician. That is someone who I would trust, uh, someone who's willing to say, I don't know, let's check it out, or let me send you here. That's all for today. Have a great day and a great holiday.